Hello YouTube, I just wanted to shoot a little video here saying that if you ever need to get to this solenoid right here on the back side of a 5.4 V8 Triton, as you can see where it's kind of, where it's supposed to go right there, just the bolts that go to it are kind of a hassle to uh, get to. So I'm trying to take that gasket out, but I don't want to drop that bolt. So I'm trying to get it both together. Maybe I get to pull forward and then I got the nut and I've got the gasket perfect. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright. So these guys that go in here are number eight. And you'll see that's the inside part of it. That's where it connects to. That one's a total bitch to get to. Well both of them kind of are because of the tight cramped space you have with your hand in here. And I'll show you um you know, kind of, you can see what I mean. Especially if you have big hands. If you have small hands, it's a lot better. My neighbor did it and, you know, was able to do it in my other truck. Back when I had it, it got totaled in an accident. But, uh, anyways, there's just a plug on the back end of it that I gotta get to. But, how I got this one, because the number eights I used on the top side was a the longer extension, number eight. But I used the swivel. And this swivel is going to be key when you go down to the bottom bolt because your exhaust manifold is right there. And first you can start without it if you have a small enough uh, hand grip to go in there with just the extension um, or I mean socket. Then use this extension because you're going to have to go against it. And you'll go up against that grill or that manifold. After you get out so far you could then take the 2 inch extension like this put it on there. And back it most of the way out until you hit on that manifold again with the bottom part of this uh you know swivel socket after that just take the glove off if you know if you're wearing gloves and just undo it by hand and pull it out if you're trying to save the gasket save the gasket by you know pulling it out you know keep it on the bottom one then just pull it out first also remove this uh antifreeze line i think that's going to be one of the things that's in your way as well I bypassed the heater core on my original truck, so this guy who sold me this one. So there's the exhaust heater hoses if you have them, you know, just take them off. But make sure you put your lines back on together afterwards. So I want to be putting this new one or used one on that's in better shape than mine. Uh, you know, just I was doing spark plugs and see the person who uh, did it before me didn't do much with the spark plugs so just doing this because it has a rough knock and hopefully i've solved it with these uh, spark plugs and then coil boots are good plugged it all back up so we'll see how it goes once i get this thing started after this so fingers crossed